Hey Frozen community, it's Claire. Today I'm here to guide you on how to replace the LCD panel of the Mega AKS. The LCD panel is one of the consumables for resin 3D printers. When it gets damaged or heavily scratched, it can impact the quality of our prints. Now let's dive into the steps on how to replace it. Before starting, these are the tools and parts needed for this process. First, remove the build plate and resin vat. On the touch panel, tap Tools, then Z-Axis Control, and adjust the Z-Axis position to the top. Turn off the printer and unplug the power cord. Using a 2.5mm hex key, loosen the four cap screws on top of the front cover. Carefully tilt the printer and use a 2.5mm hex key to remove the four cap screws on the bottom of the front cover. Restore the printer to its upright position and use a 2mm hex key to loosen the four flat head screws on the sides. Carefully pull the front cover outward by about 10cm. Find the touch panel cable on the main board. Remove the black tape to put it aside. Lift the latch upward to remove the touch panel cable. Then, disconnect the USB extension cable from the main board. Now you can remove the front cover entirely. Label the DC power, LED power, fans, limit sensor, auto feeder, and motor cables with numbered stickers from 1 to 7. Then remove them in the same order. Use a 2.5mm hex key to loosen the three cap screws securing the main board. Peel off the black tape covering the LCD cable on the main board and put it aside. Lift the latch upward to disconnect the LCD cable. With this, the main board removal is complete. Remove the electrical tape around the LCD panel. You can have one hand gently holding down the panel to make the process easier. Once completely removed the black tape, you can now take out the old panel. Before installing the new LCD panel, you can use alcohol and tissues to wipe clean the optic glass underneath, ensuring there is no dirt and foreign particles between the glass and the LCD panel. Following that, take out the LCD panel from the packaging. Connect the LCD cable to the panel, secure the connection, firmly press down the latch, and put back the black tape. Remove the protective films on both sides of the LCD panel. When installing the LCD panel, make sure Frozen's logo is on the front side. Pass the LCD cable and driver board through the opening on the top. Then gently lay the LCD panel on the optic glass. Reminder, if the LCD panel is not placed flat, the building plate may damage the LCD panel during printing. Tape up all four sides of the LCD panel using black electrical tape. Secure the panel to the platform and ensure the gaps are adequately covered. Insert the LCD cable into the socket on the main board. Secure the connection, firmly press down the latch, and put back the black tape. Next, put the main board back tightening the three cap screws using a 2.5mm hex key. Then, following the labeled sticker from 1 to 7, reconnect the DC power, LED power, fan, limit sensor, auto feeder, and motor cables back to the main board. Place the front cover about 10 centimeters in front of the printer. Reconnect the touch panel cable to the main board socket. Secure the connection, firmly press down the latch, and poke back the black tape. Reconnect the USB extension cable to the main board. Lastly, put the front cover back in place, ensuring a snug fit with the printer. And please make sure not to pinch the cables. Use a 2mm hex key to tighten the four flat head screws on the left and right sides of the front cover. Then, use a 2.5mm hex key to tighten the eight cap screws on the top and bottom of the front cover. Then you have done it! And that's about it for the Mega AKS LCD replacement tutorial. Thank you all for watching! If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Last but not least, remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye!